can big ears go too big? Only if the entire wing disappears. Yeah. So, so you can, on a, if you've got three lines each side, which I suspect your glider has, yeah. then you can also do big, big ears. So instead of grabbing the just the outside A lines to do big ears, you grab the two outside A lines to do big ears. Two outside. And so you're just flying, just We're suspended on the on the two centre A lines. So so then your glider will look a little bit like an, a dart, it'll, uh, just a sort of it'll be a point at the front with these big big ears sort of trailing back. You probably end up with less than a third of the wing area of your wing. It's like it's that much. Yeah. So you know, like your rises, the, the, the main A rise goes up. There's two lines, and then there's one for big ears, which has got a single line. Mm. So normally you just pull that. So with this, you grab the second one and pull that, and yeah, your wing just disappears. But you go down really quick. We, you do it on an SIV. It's a really good descent technique. And it's super safe, but you have to go to full speed bar on that because you've got such a little wing left. Yeah. 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 And it would not, it would yeah. not uh, like collapse because, just because you put so heavily much. weighted. Yeah, because you, all of your, your whole normal flying weight is now only on, held up by a third of the wing. Yeah. So your wing loading is huge, so it's really hard for it to collapse. Uh, but yeah. you find sometimes that because there's like all this flappy fabric and stuff, mm -hmm. that it will start to do this, and then it will get out of sync with you, and you end up sideways. And in my pod, one of the first times I flew my pod, I, I pulled big ears in, and it started doing that. And I thought, oh, this is okay, I've kind of got this, and I was trying to weight shift correct it. And then all of a sudden I just went sideways, and the wind went into the flap on the pod oh, and filled up. Around. And I was just like, oh, wow. I was flying sideways like this with the wind going forward. It's like, yes, time to let those go. <laughs> so, and it just happened like in three or four swings that I was suddenly sideways to the wing. So, it's, so but using just the outer eggs, no, you can't be your wings too big. Too big. Too, too big. Sorry, yeah, too big. You guys, would you guys use big, big ears? Or do you use other methods to get down? Uh, it, depends, it depends what yeah. you're trying to do. If you're cross-country flying and you're making it between thermals and you're being pulled up on towards airspace, then big ears and speed bar gets you, you know, yeah, but we'll hopefully it gets you out of the lift. Yeah. But again, you're monitoring it and if you're still going beep and the airspace ceiling or the cloud is above you, then you're swapping out. You're, you're either putting on more speed bar or you're dropping them out and going into spiral. Right, but definitely, but not big, big ears. No. I would use big, big ears. Oh, I would use big, big ears. Yeah. Yeah. Big, big, big ears. Strong lift. Yeah. Okay. okay. Rather than going into a spot. Yeah, because yeah. in strong lift, like yeah, I was going up at six metres per second or something like that. And um, yes, you can spiral, but at going down at 10 metres per second um, mm -hmm. in a spiral, you're only going down at four metres per second. If you're in six and, metres per second. And you're pulling massive Gs, and when you pull out, you're still in the same lift. Yeah. So right, yeah, 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 by the time yeah, you yeah. get out of your spiral and you know you kind of shoot up a little bit at the you end, you often climb any. back up. Yeah. That's go. the best argument for so using big a big yeah, yeah. spiral to get out of it. Yeah, and you turn 90 degrees and track away from the lift, yeah, yeah, you and you're still away. covering ground. I was up the top of the Eldersley Valley going up really, really fast through airspace, and I pulled in the big, big ears. Well, I tried a few things, big ears and then spirals. They didn't work. I went with big, big ears and straight line, and I just flew into stronger lift. Oh, okay. And but I eventually came out, but I broke the airspace and couldn't count the flight. But um, it, the yeah, just flying straight line out of lift is is probably the best way to go with, yeah. with the ears. And so what, what's the typical? So you one meter a second normally. Big ears three. And big, big ears. Depends on the glider. A, yeah. a gliders don't go down as fast, but no. big, big ears is maybe like five? Four, on, five. I'm on my A, I think. I'm five five on the G. Yeah. yeah. Five yeah. is pretty far. Yeah. And yeah. spirals aren't comfortable. No, no. But it's, just I wouldn't want to do it because yeah. I'd be sick for the rest of the day. Yeah, for you especially. No, they're pretty full on. Like it's, mm. yeah. But, you know, if it's super, super strong, that's what you have to do to get down. But, yeah. Um, Yes. Um, yeah. When I've spiraled a lot of the time, I've just um, I've got out of the lift first, and I've, I've decided I don't like the way this day is developing. 
I'm pretty high now and I want to get down and there's not a lot of sink around and I want to get down pretty quickly so I'll, I'll find somewhere where the lift is not so great or, or neutral or if I can somewhere it's going down and then I'll spiral. 